This is where the wealthiest and most powerful crime lords do business. Did they all lose a bet? It's unexpected, unassuming, and undesirable. Perfect place if you don't want company. Fairly sure the Atmos toxic too. Keeps things snappy. It's a coffin. Hopefully just figuratively. Wait, look. Eddie's bike. I still think these are the dumbest things. It's like they're designed to just waste fuel. I don't know, I think it looks kinda cool. Is it a male thing, or just a, you know, you're just wrong thing? Or both? Going with both. If this is here, he's here. The two are fused at the hip with a blowtorch. Should we worry about the, oh, dozen or so screamer ships, Doc? Oh yeah, but look, we find Eddie, I kill Eddie, the three of us all leave together. And his uh, uh, lady friend, sure, she comes with us too. Come on. They really shouldn't leave this out. That's some valuable pie to so casually windowsill. They deserve to learn this lesson. Cody, something seems off about this ship. You picking up anything? Additionally, I am detecting a single life sign within. Their heart rate indicates that they are most likely napping. Then let's keep it that way. We don't want them waking up and letting their friends know we're local. Melted shut? That's a new one. No jimmying this one into submission. We need something corrosive. Hmm, maybe a few somethings. Maybe we can get in this way? There's no delicate way to ask if you're sure you'll fit. There isn't, and I'm not sure, but we're going through anyway, come on. I'm... Sorry, I wasn't trying to, you know, I, I'm... Quit while you're behind, Sarah. Don't sweat it. This is my lot in life, but I like my lot. And yeah, it means sometimes I can't quite sidle through airlock doors, but screw it, man. I'm a big dude. And hell yeah, I'm a big dude. Just because the universe can be narrow doesn't mean I have to follow suit. Hey, no one's knocking. Some folks like strawberry-flavored ice cream approximate. Some folks like butter pecan flavored ice cream approximate. Meaning? Meaning some folks, ladies, fellows, whomever, they, you know, they prefer a big dude. I've known plenty. I, yeah, I've known plenty. Oh yeah? Does that include you? It's on the inside that counts. Oh. But you know, that might include me, maybe. Who's to say? I think I know a yes when I hear one. Oh, do you? Oh, I do. Oh, you caught me, Sheriff. Oh, did I? Ugh, screamers must have locked it. We'll have to find another way in. Why? I'm curious. Hey, look! A movie. Gum disease, a deeper look. I guess it's a documentary? Why? I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to, you know, I, I'm... Quit while you're behind, Sarah. Don't sweat it. This is my lot in life. But I like my lot. And yeah, it means sometimes I can't quite sidle through airlock doors, but screw it, man. I'm a big dude. And hell yeah, I'm a big dude. Just because the universe can be narrow doesn't mean I have to follow suit. Hey, no one's knocking. Some folks like strawberry flavored ice cream approximate. Some folks like butter pecan flavored ice cream approximate. Meaning? Meaning some folks, ladies, fellows, whomever, they, you know, they prefer a big dude. I've known plenty. I, yeah, I've known plenty. Well, tell them to say hi sometime. I will say to them, Say hi to Beckett. They will say, who is Beckett? It will be an awkward call.
through. Let's focus up. I think I hear someone. Or someones? We need to keep quiet. Looks like someone called a meeting. You know the Screamers. They work for the Yearwoods. The ones in the fancy new threads. Huh. The Freebooters are here too. It's a surprise. Those freaks. Who's that in the mask? No one knows. And the Unknown like to keep it that way. Anyone but them tries to remove their helmet, it releases a blast of sulfuric acid on the Unknown's face, melting away the answer. Yikes. Yikes. They're weirdos, but organized, which makes them very dangerous weirdos. Carefully and quietly, Eddie's gotta be here somewhere. Sulfuric acid. Uh, maybe a refill vial for the unknown's helmet? I don't know. Snag it. Busted. Damn. Uh, for this floor, at least. Come on, let's see what's down there. Okay. No sign of Eddie. Could be upstairs. I really am gonna kill him. I think it's working. Find out. Well, the power is working, but something else isn't. Hmm. Back up. Okay. That easy there, champ. Yes, for sure. We need to find a different way. That easy there, champ. They'll see us for sure. We need to find a different way. I feel like this won't be enough to eat through this much door. It needs something else.
easy there, champ. They'll see us for sure. We need to find a different way. That easy there, champ. They'll see us for sure. We need to find a different way. Meet your new favorite toy. We call it the Ship Splitter. Modified a shuttlecraft with some tech we harvested out of a rusted out driller boat we found floating near Alpha Centauri. If you ever get a hankering to cut your way into any juicy looking ship out there and make off with its cargo hold contents, this is your gal pal. You're gonna love it, Rich. Accelerant? Is that like a, a juice? Wanna take a sip? Hi, no, you'll die. Accelerants are used in most rudimentary ion engine reclamators, especially but not limited to those in shuttlecrafts. They're also extremely toxic, cause severe chemical reactions when combined with most acids, and are generally unpalatable to anyone with an aversion to the flavor of sulfur and ash. I wasn't thirsty anyway. This must be the ship splitter. Looks dangerous. Oh yeah. I like it. Don't see a key anywhere. I doubt the things down here to tie the basement's aesthetic together. Key's gotta be somewhere. in the fumes. You're not gonna actually kill Eddie, right? <sighs> no. I mean, I'd love to. Just to see if that dumb pink mohawk turns as blue as his face when I strangle him. But no, no homicide actually planned. Just in my dreams. My sweet, wonderful, violent dreams. That's for the best. Murder is frowned upon in most moral codes. Don't remind me. Truth be told, I don't even know what I'm gonna say to the kid. Like, I'm so glad he's alive, right? I'm so glad. But I'm also so disappointed in his, you know, actions, behavior, whatever. And I'm hurt. I'm really, yeah, hurt. I'm hurt. It's not like we were paragons of family life, okay? I know that. But we were better than nothing. Better than saying nothing. That's exactly what he did. He ran away saying nothing. And now I have no idea what to say back. No idea at all. This isn't to invalidate any pain or anger or, or anything you're feeling, but I would just say to him, I love you. And if he wants to throw that away, that's his mistake to make. But maybe he won't. And maybe this is how you find out. Maybe. Definitely. Actually, I'm gonna nab a few barcodes off the ships outside. All info is good info. Okay. You keep looking. Be right back. No 
going up those. I think this might be the key to the ship in the basement. I should look around here before going back out. That is a crate. Well spotted, Beckett. Mauve? It's technically mauve. And that's technically mine. And actually mine. So gimme. Uh, oh my god, you're Eddie. Oh my god, I am. We really should keep it down, Beckett. Don't want to startle the sewing circle down there. You know who I am? My girlfriend scanned your Cody when you landed. Sent me the info. So your mom's newest partner, huh? I think that makes it a solid baker's dozen within the last two cycles. Oh wait, I forgot about Chuck. We're kind of friends, too, I think. Such confidence. I heard she was chasing after me with some courier with one of those weird first names that's also a last name. What are you even doing here? Screamers do a lot of business here, and we needed one of their ships. I was able to pick the lock on one of them, but still needed the keys to make it run. So I snuck in, waited for one of them to, to I don't know, take a dump, so I could snag their keys and, and hightail. Keys were snagged, and then the, the, the cabal down there showed up. I had to run and hide up here. Just been waiting for them to disperse. Got bored, tagged the wall, dropped my paint, and a big dude in a big coat picked it up. And thus our story brings us to the present. Can I have my paint back? It is, you know, mine. No, you need to... So here's what we're gonna do about Keller. Uh, hold that thought. We tried using hired help. Amen. So I just fired all those potsers, and instead, we are gonna go after Keller. Every gang, every captain, every grunt. All of us. More crosshairs, more chances. Simple science. Can we keep his kneecaps if we find him first? Just, just the kneecap? Sure. All yours. The logic is sound. The unknown agrees. Well, so here's the strategy. Eddie? Uh, hi, Mom. Hey, look who I found. Uh, Sarah? I, I, I should say, I, damn it. I, I don't. What? I have to get out of here. Wait, Ed, I... I wasn't sure what to say. Just give me back my paint, and I'm... J just give it to me. Eddie, please, just let go! Help, Mob. We're on it. Run. Eddie, wait! Let me drop! Open up! Should we... Wait, no. Drop your mom. Because they think you did. Because you did. Hey, man, we're not looking for trouble. We're just leaving. Yeah, that's gonna work. Look, fellas, are you gonna shoot us? We don't want to. Then what? Take us inside, lock us in a cage, threaten to torture us for information? No, you're about to be tortured for information. Or rather, you might be tortured. Jury's out. But the judge is in. That's me, Lyle. Hi. I'm gonna ask you some questions, you give me answers I like, you don't get tortured. So, gathering information isn't all about gathering facts, not at first at least. At first, it is all about character. Now Keller here is a known entity, but all I have on you Beckett is some boilerplate registry entries for courier deliveries. No criminal record, no familial history of merit, nothing but unspoken of ordinariness. So how would you describe you? No wrong answer. Give me the elevator pitch. I'm a, I don't know, a troubadour, man. Only, instead of delivering music from town to town, I deliver bits and bobs and everything in between. I'm an explorer. Lightly delusional. Noted. The two of you are not exactly what I would call, hmm, a predictable pair. Friends, business partners, toward affair. We're, you know, friends. He had a car, I didn't. That's what he is to me. A car. Well, now... Beckett, would you agree? Are you, uh, a car? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, that's right. Hmm, hesitation. Maybe you and I are both finding this out for the first time. Makes sense. Lady Keller here isn't exactly known for meaningful collaboration. You're not the first for her to razzle and dazzle and then leave high and dry. You see? Character first. Now I know who I'm really dealing with. 
and so do you. I gotta take a wizard. You two make with a how could you, I trusted you. Don't look at me, bibbity bobbity, and I'll be right back. Okay, if we futz with the battery somehow, maybe we can take the guy out. Um... If he's close, I can lift the key off him. Is Sarah... I mean, assuming it's on him. A lot of variables here, but cards, dealt, play, etc., so... Sarah! It's not true. Come on, did you really think so? Like, really? Come on. Uh, yeah, I did, actually. Jumped to it awful quick. I had to say that, because if he thinks I care about you even a little bit... He will hurt you. Okay, fine. Then humor me. How do you see me? Humor me first. How do you think? I know you asked first, but, uh, shrug? We're pals, right? Oh, yeah, of course we're pals. I might even upgrade that to a proper friend. Uh, pin in all of that. We need a plan. We need to take out that battery and then, uh, I don't know, ask really nicely if we can go. Not 100% thought out, I know, but for sure that battery is bad news. good at darts. What's darts? Okie doke. Fingers and toes crossed. Dude, I officially have a backup career plan. Hey, that's great. Now how do we get out of here? This is bad? This is bad. For some. Oh, Bobos, hey. How'd you do that? Control DMP disperser. Unless you mean how did I dispatch of adversarial forces, in which case guns and fists. Follow me. Thanks a mill for the rescue, man. You are not welcome. The premise was not your well-being. The Yearwoods canceled the outstanding bounty on your son. They fired you. I am never fired. And that is why I am here. I intend to collect the Purloin jump drive, deliver it as requested, and receive appropriate payment. However, Edward is elusive. Hence, your rescue. You have incited your son. Therefore, you are assets in his pursuit. I will be accompanying you until we are in proximity of Edward, and then retrieve the drive, and then return the drive, and then collect the reward, and then probably lunch. Sounds good to me. Three heads and all. I am boarding. Then you are assisting. Then we are parting. And then, eventually, perhaps years from now, perhaps next Tuesday, you will die. And all of your opinions will die in visible, silent deaths beside you. But first, I am boarding. Eddie boosted a screamer ship. I got the ship's barcode. That would be beneficial. Let us board. My ship will follow. Hey, do me a favor. When we catch up with Eddie, make sure I tell him what he needs to hear. Properly, this time. Hey, come on. That's your job, not mine. Yep. Fair. Come on. should retire to your quarters. I can see to navigation. Uh... One quick interface. Your server is a cobble system, correct? It will be simple. Cool with me. Really? That's cool with me.
I do not understand the problem. I'm perfectly capable of flying my own dang self. Thank you and good night and stop. My central processor is light years beyond the ceiling fan you call a CPU. Oh lord, a power cord measuring contest. This is as pointless as it is time wasting. I am interfacing. Beckett, please stop him before I get angry. Temperature increasing. You can stop him, right? Of course I can, but he is your guest and I am attempting to be polite. And soon I will fail that attempt. Adjusting course. Uh, where are you going? Edward ship is heading to Paulus. We will travel along the Magdalena Crest to intercept. Take Shawnee Groff. Way faster. I disagree, as does math and physics. All right, pull over. Wait. Ow! I hate robots. And also... Everything. You didn't need to do that. He was taking a crap route. I absolutely had to... Uh, 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 Are you okay? I'll be... Uh, ow, fine. Except for the mm, blood and uh, flesh burning. I have some bandages uh, somewhere, but they're, they're, they're more meant for paper cuts. But they have dinosaurs. Service station 82J is along the way. They may have a proper first aid kit and chips. Is this gas station along the way, along the way, or... Along the way, but really way out of the way along the way. It will be a delay. Then forget it. We need to catch up with Eddie. It's... Ah! Oh. Stop. Just stop. I... Oh! Uh, I can handle it. Hey, look. Just trying to help. I'm fine. I got it. God. Do you? I should... I'm just gonna lie down for a minute or several. I need a destination. I'm fine. Yeah, keep. Ah, damn it. Mm, keep after Eddie. Awaiting input. I have given you input. Only the captain of the vessel may do so. I guess. Let's keep following Eddie. Thank. <sighs> Thank you. Not my first mm, mm, extremely painful rodeo, but wouldn't it be swell if it was my last? I'm gonna go, go, oh god, ah, oh, lie down. Do you need a, do you need anything? Maybe, uh, oh, maybe a cup of, mm, whatever, coffee, tea, coffee and tea. Liquid sounds, ow, oh, lovely. You got it. We should probably do something about Phobos. Unless you'd like a big, spooky, deactivated hunter-killer robot just, you know, standing there, waiting to reactivate and possibly kill at any moment. Okay, can we access his processor? There's got to be some subroutine that turns him from killer to kitten, right? Scanning. Hmm, well, looks like little Lord Fancybeard here ain't exactly the technological marvel he babbled on about. He's got a Themalor processor. A Themalor Beckett. <laughs> Can you believe it? I don't know what that is, Cody. It's lame and stupid and mine is better. Basically, we can either alter his programming just a wee bit so he's a bit more agreeable and a bit less exceptionally hateable, or we wipe him clean as a whistle and add a new trophy to our trophy room. Additionally, I was wanting to talk to you about turning one of the rooms into a trophy room, but first things first. He could be useful with some tinkering, but you never know when a tinker could turn stinker. So we might be better off dumpster firing the lug. I have no moral reservations with either decision. Let's just adjust him. You never know. Very well. I'll get out the proverbial chisel and micro laser subprocessor modification kit version 3.7. He should be more pleasant company within two shakes. run my diagnostics? Remember, it helps update my identity drives and keeps us in sync with what behavior you deem appropriate or inappropriate. So, what do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Running diagnostics processor, self-analysis systems, updating to 85 AC. So, Sarah was showing uncertainty in regards to what to say to Eddie upon their reunion. Configuring counseling systems. You told Sarah to simply tell Eddie that she loved him. Forgoing Eddie having to face his own malfeasance in favor of potential emotional healing. Adjusting priority motivation. Though brief, you have now seen the Keller family together. Do you think there is a possibility for a healthy familial relationship between the two? 
Well, I mean, there's always a possibility. A matchstick's worth of light in the dark, you know? Noted. Counseling systems ideology subprotocols updated. Systems calibrated. Thanks, Beckett. As always, this will help me adjust to whatever future situational or ethical disagreements that may arise. Cody? Like a ficus, there is room to grow. About to hit play. Care to join? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Your loss. I have exceptional taste. Now get out. Uh, please? Now get out? Looking good, plants. Take a hint. Hear you. You don't know that. Something, someone is... Cody? Mind if I join you? Just poured a fresh cup of joe myself. Or, at least I tell myself it's fresh. Uh, how the hell are you in my kitchen? My boat's nearby. I lifted Wrench's hollow emitter after you cats left his ship floating. Always one to one, so? Zapping myself over to have a chat. I also sent an absolutely harmless little hack to keep your door locked there, to ensure we have privacy. Why do we need privacy? Because you're spending time with folks who might not have the highest of high opinions about me. And I'd like to set the record straight. Or at the very least, only mildly crooked. We got time to kill and freshly brewed caffeine. Let's make use of both. Take a seat, I insist. I'll even say please. Please. That looks really solid. How are you doing that? State-of-the-art hard light holotech. We'll support you in your coffee cup. Just send over a little extra oomph and voila. Place to sit and sip. Gonna chew up a lot of my current charge sending that much energy over, but more to life, am I right? You a card player? When I come across a complete deck, but how rare is that? Huh. As hen's teeth. But over the years, I managed to cobble one together. Let's play a game, higher or lower. I flip a card, you tell me if the next one's higher or lower. Two is the lowest, ace is the highest. Simple as that. Really workshop that title, huh? There's more than plenty to be said for clarity. And while you may not love the game's name, you may like its results. You guess higher or lower correctly, I'll answer any question you got about me, my life, at all. You guess wrong. You answer a question of mine. You're on. No, sir. You are. Four. Heck, whatever shall he pick? Who could possibly guess? What do you think? Higher, of course. Of course. Two. Ah, oh, damn. Let's be vain. What Sarah told you about me? If anything, I suppose. Uh, that you two were a thing, but it was kind of a, a total disaster. Scorched earth, my friend. To the last of the grass. We knew, still went for it. Nobody else to blame. Poor little Eddie, though. You know? Kid didn't ask for that. Let's keep going. Eight. Crazy eight. What's your call, caller? Higher? 
Lower. I'm all holographic ears. Higher. King. Well done, your majesty. What you got for me? Go right ahead. Open book. Do you and Eddie keep in touch? Ha! <laughs> you a courier or a comedian? Look, I tried, you turned me down. Tried again, same old song. And I was like that with my paw, too. Must be in the blood. Eddie knows the door's open. Just waiting on him to step through. Ah, I'm running low on juice, so this is gonna have to be our last one. Hey, well then, can't go higher than that. I mean, lower, come on. There's literally nothing higher, so, yeah. Oh, another ace. Huh, it's a tie. What does that mean? Uh, juice is running low over here. So today, a tie means I'm just gonna give you some advice. You're in well past ankle deep here. And I'm sure your reasons for sticking around are understandable at worst. Sympathetic at sweetest. But never forget, a falling knife has no handle. And, bud, this whole situation is mid-drop. I tell you to run, but the blade is in motion. So, enjoy that coffee. And never say I never warned you. I think we just had a residual glitch from Wrench's earlier hack. I wasn't able to access the kitchen. What were you doing in here? I detect residual plasma energies. Just how strong did you make that coffee? Just, uh, just playing a game, Cody. Oh, you keep games in here? Well, I hope you won. An update. Sarah is resting, so there is no longer a need to prepare her cup of coffee. Unless you just wanted to, I don't know keep her company. However, given her injured state, I recommend rest. But of course, the remainder of the ship is at your disposal. I'll let you know when we're nearing our destination. Bored. Hey, tell me a joke. Come on. I'm sure you got one chambered. Okay. Uh, sure. Take your time. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> oh. Eh, that was a good one. Thanks for the distraction. <laughs> 